And welcome back to another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! The perverts have spoken. Alright! Yes, yes, yes. Episode number 22. 22! That's right, that's right. Coming off of last night's episode of the brilliant, yet very, very serious and dark house on the edge of the park, I thought, you know what, let's lighten it up. Let's lighten it up. And what better way to lighten things up than to watch a cheesy 80s bad horror movie. Well, I mean, it's not bad as in like, um, it's totally unwatchable. It's just bad because it's, it's, it's bad, but it's good bad. It's, it's fun bad. It is. The movie Bloody Birthday. Yes, there isn't any really awesome gore effects. Yeah, sure, it's violent, but it's not really like super bloody. The acting is cheesy. The plot is somewhat ridiculous, but yeah, it's got all of that wonderful stuff that you just love from 80s horror movies. So what is it about? Well, I'm glad you asked. So during a Total solar eclipse, three children are born, and because of this, they're all psychopaths. Yeah, right. So, fast forward, how oh, is it, like 10 years or something? God, I can't believe I can't remember. Whatever, anyways, they're, they're, they're grade schoolers, and they decide, going up to their um, birthday in a couple days, to start murdering people because you know that's what you do when you're a psychopath right yeah so they start out by murdering a couple teens that are getting a little uh, frisky in the, in the uh, graveyard because you know the graveyard is such a romantic place i mean i do i do all my heavy petting at the graveyard but i don't have a girlfriend Does that mean i'm a necro I'll just edit that out in the uh, post-production part. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, people. Or am I? I am. I am, right? Yeah. Anyways, enough joking aside. So, of course, the sheriff, who is the father of one of the children, starts thinking that there's a maniac on the loose. And, well, they decide to set up a little trap for him. Well, they set up a little skateboard so that he would trip uh, going down the stairs and injure himself horribly. But he maneuvers around the skateboard because, you know, he's not a fucking moron. Stupid fucking kids. So they decide to just clobber him with a baseball bat. And that's basically the movie is these kids are just murdering people. And uh, a neighbor boy who uh, kind of suspects they're uh, not... Uh, at least one of the boys, not being uh, too uh, on the up and up, becomes kind of the the target of their uh, of their uh, vengeance, I guess, in uh, some way. So you kind of have that dynamic of the little boy, and uh, they, you know, you think, oh, the, the adults are never going to believe him, but you know, that never really comes into play. In fact, his older sister begins to suspect some things, and they. The kids develop a maniacal plan to discredit her, which I thought was actually pretty brilliant. It's like birthday cake and ant poison and like, you know, red herrings. It's, it's, it's really, a, really a fun movie. I mean, just the concept of uh, the, like a group of little kids just going around murdering people and then trying to cover it up which means more murder, right? Oh, the teacher, the school teacher won't give uh, anyone like a, a reprieve of their homework for the birthday party? Well, she's gonna have to die, right? Oh my goodness, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just schlocky, cheesy, 
like I said, the, there's no real gore effects that they do. I mean, like when the, the girl gets shot in the face or the eye with an arrow, you know, he's just holding it there. You don't really see, like, you know, they just probably have her close her eye and they just put a bunch of stage blood. So, you know, it's not, like, overly gory, but it's violent and it's fun. That's the thing. It's fun. I'm watching this and I'm just going, like, oh, my God, really? I mean, I'm sure this is not the first movie that's had murderous kids, but maybe it's one of the most fun. I don't know. Maybe the children's kind of fun. I don't know. I haven't actually seen that one. I've been wanting to, but I haven't. And I know that uh, there's that new one that just came out about, uh, what is it called, Cooties, where you got the, the, the zombie apocalypse, but they're kids. Uh, and of course, Village of the Damned, you know, classic, but they're more like, you know, psychic, cause people to commit suicide. But to have the kids do the dirty work, and honestly, for a slasher film, they do it smart because, you know, these kids aren't going to be strong enough to, like, take on adults. So, you know, besides, so they don't really, you know, overpower people and use, like, knives as much as they just get daddy's, uh, gun and shoot people with it, which is effective and is an equalizer when you're, you know, this tall and you could easily get thrown across the room by an adult. So, yeah, in, in a way, it's, it's, it's kind of like, um, uh, that thought just passed me. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say something like Summer of Sam because, you know, he's the 44 caliber killer or whatever. You know. uh, but, yeah, the... Honestly, there's there's really no like reason why the kids should just start killing people randomly even if they have like no empathy uh, Unless we find out that those two uh, people who are canoodling in the <laughs> Graveyard, you don't know what that means. Just look it up. Whatever <laughs> they uh <laughs> Unless they wronged one of the kids or something. It just doesn't make any sense like you know It's like oh, I'm bored at night. Why don't I go and you know? murder these two these two teenagers I mean, is, I mean that's not necessarily psychopathic that's just evil <laughs> I mean whatever I guess you know when you're a kid and you're bored you'll do anything for fun but there you have it that's that's the thing is this movie is fun you know it's not serious it's ridiculous the premise of three sociopathic kids they're not gonna start murdering humans until they're at least teenagers you know that's how it goes you know you start with the kittens and then you graduate to the uh to the more uh i guess heavy stuff right right i hope well i mean i hope that like that doesn't happen at all but anyways so in the end the movie itself pretty average so I'm giving it a two and a half out of five on the overall impression scale but on my enjoyment factor I'm giving it a four because it is it's 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 ridiculous but it's fun to watch and yes there is some titty going on there's actually a rather lengthy uh, topless scene where the, get this the little girl the little girl so it's two boys and one girl she's charges kids money to peep on her older sister changing i mean i gotta give her credit for you know having keen business sense and knowing about uh, you know demand and everything like that but still that's stupid man that's crazy crazy i don't even think anyone would figure that one out until they're at least you know like 14 or 15 i don't know i don't know what the age of these kids are i'm, I'm putting them around 10 10 to 12 years old but i guess maybe you know you start you know getting those kind of thoughts when you're that you know but anyways i'm getting off track anyway so because of that yeah my enjoyment factor is a four out of five because it's 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 ridiculous yeah, it's it's entertaining. I, I I just like it. It's like a guilty pleasure, I guess. Cause I mean, it's got it's got ridiculous plot, uh, some 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 bad acting and some all right acting. You've got this 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 soundtrack that just feels like they ripped it off of uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Literally, when the kills happen, you get that sort of almost sounds exactly like the Friday the Thirteenth sound with the strings going. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. But anyways, so there you have it. Bloody birthday. 
It's a movie that you can just go, it's ridiculous, and just sit back and have fun, and not kind of have, you know, to think about things, and not have to worry about being, like, super dark and serious. It's just a fun, schlocky, 80s horror movie. And one of the reasons why I love horror movies is because you can just get a whole wide variety of stuff. You could get really like funny things like Evil Dead 2. You could get schlocky messed up things like like Bloody Birthday. You can get super dark creepy serious things like La House on the End of the uh, or the House on Dead End Street or whatever it was. Yeah, Last House on Dead End Street. You know, really freaky, creepy, snuffish type stuff. I mean, it's like a whole plethora of wonderful things within that. I guess you could say that's uh, true for any genre, but whatever! Whatever. This one's based around killing things. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, you know, that is, that's action films too, so never mind. So, but there you have it. There you have it. Bloody birthday. I kind of fell apart at the end of that for some reason, but that's what happens, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm going to take some time off after this uh, 31 nights. Golly. But, uh, just a quick thing. I, I uploaded a reaction video to me reacting to the Star Wars trailer because, you know, I was up and waiting for things to render and whatnot. And I happened to be watching uh, Monday Night Football. So I thought, I'll do a recording of it because, you know, that's the thing people do now. And honestly, like, I look at other people's reaction videos because I'm just kind of curious as, as to see what, and they're so fake. They're like, oh, oh my god, oh, it's, it's Han Solo. Oh, oh, look at those starfly. Oh, Lady Vulcan. Oh, 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 You know, and like some of them are like, like, oh, oh, man. Oh, and you know, their, their hands are reaching down to places that they shouldn't be reaching down for a Star Wars trailer. I, I think maybe they need to uh, get themselves checked a little bit, you know? Oh, Star Wars. Oh, anyways, I love Star Wars, man. I've got all the movies. I've got them on, on VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray. I mean, I am a big fan of Star Wars. Whenever... I, when I had HBO way back in the day, and whenever uh, the 20th Century Fox thing on a movie, I didn't know what was playing, and it was da 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 and I would hope that it'd say, like, you know, Lucasfilm, and then go, Star Wars. <laughs> you know, that's how much I love that film, and I still love it to, to this day, but, you know, I... I don't think I've ever gone to a point where I'm, like, watching a trailer, and I just go, OH MY GOD! So I don't know if some people watching that go like, you know, not really much of a reaction there. Anyways, I just thought I'd talk about that at the end of this since no one else is, everyone stopped watching after I gave my like final part of this. I don't know. I might even like cut this part out. I don't know. So if you, so, so if you see a strange edit and you're now listening to me, that's because I cut out something that just totally fell apart worse than the end of what I did like a second ago. So anyways, I'll just keep it in there because I'm insane. This is crazy. This is crazy time, right? Anyways, uh, I'll leave it at that. Episode 22, done. Bloody birthday. Fun, fun movie. I mean, it's not good, but it's fun. So anyways, until then, everybody, you stay scary, internet. Ooh, ah.